Hi guys! Once again, I'm Mr. Marty Santa Maria. I will be discussing to you the different types of rockbacks. So, sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. Let us first determine the learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to, number one, differentiate the types of fractions. Number two, convert improper fractions to mixed fractions and vice versa. Number three, appreciate the types of fractions in solving the real life problems. Let's begin. So there are three types of fractions. So we have proper fraction, improper fraction, and the mixed fraction. Let us begin with a proper fraction. When we say a proper fraction, it is a fraction whose numerator is less than the denominator. Okay, so for example, we have one half, one fourth, and three fourths. So all of the numerators are less than the denominators. The second type of fraction is improper fraction. The prefix in means not. So when you say improper fraction, it is not proper fraction. It is a fraction whose numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. Example, so we have 4 out of 4 on the first pizza and 3 out of 4 on the second pizza. So that's why we have 7 out of 4 or 7 parts. The 7 is greater than 4, so it is an improper fraction. Another example of improper fraction is 4 out of 4 or 4 parts. So, we can see that the numerator is equal to the denominator. Or we know that if they are equal, then it is only equal to 1. The third type is a mixed fraction. It has a combination of a whole number and a proper fraction. For example, we have one whole of pizza and three parts of pizza. So, we have one and three parts of pizza. Next, let us compare the improper fraction from the mixed fraction. Okay, so we have... 7 parts and we have 1 and 3 parts. How do you compare these uh, two types of fractions? So based on the illustration, 4 parts is the same as 1 whole. Then 3 parts is also equal to 3 parts. So definitely, 7 parts is equal to 1 and 3 parts. So therefore, we can convert improper fraction to mixed fraction. Here are the steps. Number 1. Divide the numerator by denominator. Second, write the quotient as the whole number. Third, write the remainder as the numerator and copy the same denominator. So let us take this example number 1. Convert 7 fourths to a mixed fraction. So we are going to divide 7 by 4. So dividing 7 by 4, it gives us a quotient of 1 and a remainder of 3. Do I need to show you the solution? Okay, sige. So, let us divide 7 by 4. So, how many 4 can you get from 7? Of course, we have 1. Then multiply. So, 1 times 4 equals 4. Then subtract. So, 7 minus 4 is 3. Then 3 becomes now the remainder. So, what are you going to do with 3? So, place or put 3 on the numerator of the proper fraction and on the denominator is yes, the divisor. So, therefore, 7 fourths equal to 1 and 3 fourths. So let us consider this example number 2. Convert 29 pips to a mixed fraction. First, we are going to divide 29 by 5. So, of course, 29 by 5 is equal to 5. Then, multiply 5 times 5 is yes, 25. Subtract 29 by 25. So the difference is equal to 4. Then, this 4 becomes now the remainder. So what we're going to do with the remainder? So we're going to put it on the numerator of the proper fraction and 5 becomes the denominator of the proper fraction. So therefore, 29 fifths equal to 5 and 1 fifths. Next, example number 3. Convert 113 6 to a mixed fraction. So divide 113 by 6. So first, we should begin with 11 because uh, if we're going to begin with 1, so we cannot divide 1 by 6, so we are going to start with 11. So 11 divided by 6 equal to 1. 
then 1 times 6 equals uh, 6 then subtract 11 by 6 so the difference is 5 bring down 3 next divide 53 by 6 so how many 6 are there in 53 so we have 8 then 8 times 6 equal to 48 then subtract we have 5 then 5 becomes now the remainder then 5 will be the numerator of the proper fraction and 6 becomes the denominator. So, I am going to show you the shortcut method of dividing 113 by, by 6. So, first divide 11 by 6. So, of course, we have 1. Then, 1 times 6, 6 and subtract mentally 6 from 11. So, 11 minus 6 equal to 5. So, we are going to write 5 in between of... Um, 1 and 3. So the next dividend becomes now 53. So 53 divided by 6 equal to 8. Then 8 times 6 is 48. Then if we're going to subtract 48 from 53, the remainder becomes 5 over the, den the denominator which is equal to 6. So therefore, 11, uh, 113 6 equal to 18 and 5 over 6. You can also convert mixed fraction to improper fraction. So the steps are number 1, Multiply the denominator by the whole number. Number two, add the product by the numerator. And number three, write it as the numerator and copy the same denominator. For example, number one, convert three and seven eighths to an improper fraction. So multiply eight by three. So the product is equal to 24. Then this 24 is added to the numerator, which is seven. So, 24 plus 7 is equal to 31. So, 31, write it on the numerator and copy 8. So, therefore, 3 and 7 is equal to 31 eighths or 31 over 8. Okay, example number 2. So, let us convert 13 and 3 fourths to a mixed fraction. So, we are going to multiply 4 times 13. The product is 52. So, 4 times 13 can be multiplied mentally. So, what is the, what is the value of 1? in 13. Of course, the value is 10. So, multiply 4 by 10. So, 4 times 10 is 40 and multiply 4 by 3 which is 12. Then, add 40 and 12 mentally. So, the product is 52. Diba? Ang dali lang. Next, 52 plus 3 is equal to 55. So, this 55 now becomes the numerator and denominator is the same as the denominator of the first. So, therefore, 13 and 3 fourths equal to 55 fourths. Next, last example number 3. So let us convert 22 and 3 sevenths to a mixed fraction. So we are going to multiply 22 by 7 vertically since it is a little bit harder than uh, example number 2. Okay, I repeat a little bit harder. Ibig sabihan konti lang. So multiply. 7 by 22. So first, we are going to multiply 7 by the rightmost 2. So the product is 14, pero right only 4, then carry 1. Then again, multiply 7 by the leftmost 2 or the next 2, which is 14 again, but uh, you should uh, add 1, so we have 15. So the product is 154. But 22 by 7 can be multiplied mentally. So the value of the leftmost 2 is 20. So 7 times 20, so that is 140, right? Then 7 times 2, that is 14. And uh, add 140 and 14 mentally. Can you do it? Of course. So we have 154. So 154 will be added by the numer numerator 3. So the sum is 157. Then 157 now becomes the numerator and 7 is the denominator. So therefore, 22 and 3 sevenths is equal to 157 over 7. Did you get it? I hope that you learned something. Bye-bye. Thank you guys and God bless.